Hey, Mr. Z. Hey, Ms. Watt, how are you? Good. Good. So we're going to talk today a little bit more about earthquakes and plate boundary types. So we're going to bring this back to our first unit. Yeah, we are a little right. bit. And we've got uh, learning targets there, 24 and 25. So uh, make sure you take a look at those and read those. And, uh, and let's get started. Okay, sounds good. So this first slide is really showing us a great visual of the location of earthquakes mm -hmm. relative to plate boundaries and yep. also relative to the depths that they occur at. So what I think we want the students to focus in on here is let's look at each individual plate boundary type first and yep. then try to make a generalization about the depth of the earthquakes associated with that plate boundary type. Yeah. So you want to get us started? Yeah, exactly. So if we take a look at uh, the Mid-Ocean Ridge, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge specifically, in between South America and Africa, you can see pretty much the outline of the plates there and where the divergent boundary is. And if you notice, those dots are colored red. And if we look at the scale at the bottom right of the map, it says that its depth is less than 33 kilometers, which we all know what type of a boundary that is, which is divergent, and that's shallow. Okay. So anything on here that's coded in red is a shallow earthquake. Mm -hmm. Are all of those shallow earthquakes associated with divergent plate boundaries, or are some of them also associated with other types of boundaries? Yeah, there's definitely other types of boundaries. And we take a look on the west coast of the United States near California, where we know the San Andreas Fault is, which is a transform boundary. Those are also shallow okay. as well. Okay. And then if you look closer, there's other colored dots there, greens and purples and things like that, that tell us that there are greater depths. And those are considered deep earthquakes because of the subduction zones that exist there. So a couple places I really like to look at to see if the pattern holds up. I like to look at the west coast of South America. Yep. Remembering from the last video that close to the coastline, we should be seeing the red and the orange and the yellow exactly. dots indicating that those earthquakes are shallow. Mm -hmm. And then going towards the east, we should see progressively more green and blue and purple dots exactly. indicating that those are the deeper earthquakes. So uh -huh. again, the continent sitting on top and that Nazca plate diving underneath the South American plate. Mm -hmm. And as you get away from the coast, away from the trench, that increasing depth of the earthquakes. Yeah. So there are other places where we see a similar pattern to that if you go to the western part of the Pacific mm -hmm. and because of this map projection that's on yes. the right side of the picture. Yeah, exactly. But we can see those darker color dots and along the, like near Japan and then on the uh, eastern coast of China, you can see it's, it's flooded with a lot of uh, um, green and purple dots there. Okay, so that pattern holds up not only for the oceanic continental convergence, mm -hmm. but it also holds up for the oceanic oceanic exactly. convergence. Right. What about the area around the Himalayas. What do we see for a pattern of depths of earthquakes there? Um, and that's at the border of, um, of in Nepal near India and uh, they're actually pretty shallow over there, right? So they're not very deep and that's to be expected. There isn't any subduction going on there. Right. We have a continent to continent collision to where those two plates are actually forcing each other upwards creating those mountains so there really isn't any subduction. So Okay, great. Let's take a look next at some of the hazards. So we looked at the earthquake depths, but what mm -hmm. about regions where there's a greater hazard of seismic damage? How do we look at this map? Yeah, so if you take a look, it's, it's color coded. So if you look down at the bottom in the center of the map, if we see areas that are highlighted in white, that's minimal risk or really no hazard at all. Yeah. And we can see that even Chicago, for the most part, is located in there. We don't have a ton of earthquakes, and you see all the other white areas. As we move, Along the scale, further to the right, we go from a green to yellow, kind of a purplish to a reddish color, right? And that indicates that they're at risk of earthquakes or they're, they're usually pretty large and, and they can be hazardous. Uh, well, so if we take a look at where the red is, uh, we can see that uh, our familiar uh, place over there on the west coast of South America, mm -hmm. right over there, uh, right along the coast, where those earthquakes are a little bit more shallower. Okay. Then you look at a lot of parts of Central America as well, mm -hmm. and then the western coast of North America. Yeah. Then, then look at the regions around the Middle East and yeah. around the northern part of India. Those are very high hazard zones, and across the northern part of Turkey where you've got that Anatoli Anatolian transform fault. Exactly. Also, so those exactly. are some places. Yes. And then go and look up by Japan and the Philippines. Yeah. 
So, so earthquakes, it doesn't really matter if they're shallow or if they're deep, they can still be hazardous. Correct. Right, so that's something that we really want you to get away from the site, that even though some of them um, that, are, that are deeper, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be more hazardous mm -hmm. or less hazardous. Yeah. They can okay. both be hazardous. So we've got another little definition here, something called the Wadati Benioff Zone. Mm. And usually when geologists are talking about this, they just call it the Benioff Zone. Yeah. And the Benioff Zone is defined by that downgoing oceanic plate that mm -hmm. we continue to talk about in a convergent plate boundary, whether it's ocean to ocean or ocean to continent. Mm -hmm. The location of earthquakes is defined along the top of that downgoing plate, and that strip across the top mm -hmm. is called the Benioff Zone. Got it. So whether it's shallow, intermediate, or deep, it's all called the Benioff Zone. Yeah. So it's not occurring in the middle of the plate or deeper below that top part, right? right. It's right at that border. Yep. All right. Okay, I think that's our last slide for this that section. That is our so last slide. So go ahead, uh, jump out, take your notes, review this, the video if you need to, and jump onto your class website and take your practice quiz. Practice quiz. All Great. right, we'll see you in class. Bye, guys.